DMX, the dog, live in concert. You think we're missing this? Not at all. Story time, rock with me. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Junior's Music Corner. Uh, this time I got a quick story for you, and this is a story about the time me and my cousin snuck into the DMX concert. Earl Simmons, the dog, DMX, uh, straight out of Yonkers, New York, set the game on fire in the 90s, brought Def Jam back to his glory. One of my favorite rappers, almost untouchable. All right, it was a Friday. August 21st, 1998. Some of y'all wasn't born yet. Anyway, so we either hear through word of mouth, a flyer, or the radio, that DMX is performing at the Back to School Jam at South Carolina State University, which is not in our city, but is in Orangeburg and it's not too far. We've been to Orangeburg plenty of times for their state homecoming. Nothing but a ride. One thing here, we don't have tickets. We don't have tickets to the show. We're not sure if tickets are available. We don't plan on buying tickets, period. So we journey our way down I-77, get to Orangeburg, get to State, and uh, we find out where the auditorium is or where the gym is, where DMX is performing, where the show is going on. All right, so it's my cousin and myself, and uh, both big DMX fans, both want to see the show. This is like my concert buddy. This is my concert partner. If there's a show in town and it's a hip-hop show and there's somebody we like, we're gonna be in attendance one way or another. And that's just that's just how it works. So we get to South Carolina State, we locate the gym, don't know what's up with tickets, it doesn't matter. So we find this gym and uh, it's, it's popping, the show starts at nine, and we gotta figure out a way to get in. So here we are, we, we looking for weak spots, we're moosing around this gym like some prowlers. It's crazy, out of town mumbling around these folks university like we got some business and uh anyway we're looking for a door we're looking for a, a pop door or a door that we can pop doesn't happen um so as we make our way around the other side of the gym there's a set of stairs there's a set of stairs that go up this way and go up that way and meet in the middle of another steps that go inside of the building on this set of steps there's maybe between, between 10 to 15 people sitting on these steps. We go lounge with them and find out that they, as well, don't have tickets to get into the show. But it just so happens, one person in the crowd has a ticket. So they devise a plan and we ride along with it to give one person this ticket, have them go in and uh, sneak their ass to the side door and pop this door so we can get in. So it may work out, it may not, but we know that we are here at the right time because we didn't have tickets, they don't have tickets, and if they get in, we're gonna get in as well. So they give the young they give this young lady the ticket and they tell her, like, this is your mission. This is your mission. You go in, you know, come around and sleekly, slyly, sneakily pop this door open. So boom, she's off. Mission started. Um, we're waiting just waiting we're just waiting and before you know it you hear something you see shot at the door and you hear this door pop when that door popped I ain't never seen people move so fast everybody shot through this door getting in the door is one thing not getting caught is another so we get into the door and um, you look down the hall when you when you come into the side door you're not directly in the gym you're on like the outskirts of the gym. You gotta go through another door to get inside of the gymnasium. When we get through this door, we're like in a hallway and we hear something and we look down the hallway and it's like people working, promoters or somebody who knows that nobody's supposed to be entering in through that door we just entered in and they're trying to stop us. Surprise, motherfucker. Quickest door, the, the closest door we can find to go into the gym, we're in the gym. We in the gym and um, we just find a seat, you know, trying not to look suspicious and all. 
So we find a seat, and there's um there's a lot of people down on the floor. Joe Claire's on stage, the comedian Joe Claire and host of Rap City. Shout out Joe Claire. Um, he's on stage, he's doing his thing. There are other people in the in the stands that that were chilling. So we know to even if we're called or somebody questions us, the only way we're gonna be able to stay in here is if we have a ticket stub. We don't have a ticket stub because we didn't pay to get into the show. So we see we see some people sitting off, and there's a couple people, and we simply ask them, like, yo, can I buy your ticket stub? You know, they don't care. These are students. They on campus. They've been bought their ticket. They in the show. They're going to enjoy the show, or they're not from these stands. So, so they decide, yeah, whatever. Give me a dollar. My cousin gives them a dollar for his stub. I give one a dollar for my stub. Guess what? We are good to go. We are in the show. Now that we got ticket stubs, we head on down to the floor. Joe Claire's still on stage. He's 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 doing his thing. He's uh he's a super funny guy. He's getting on people in the audience. And one thing I remember him picking on this guy in the front, the guy had on a he had on a polo, uh a Ralph Lauren polo polo shirt. And Joe's getting on him saying that. His man wasn't on a horse. His man was on a pit bull, and he had a sledgehammer in his hand. Anyway, it's funny. The crowd's love. And time comes, and it's time for the real show to start. The reason people are here, and that is to see DMX. So we're all excited. I believe um, uh, It's Dark and Hell is Hot had been out, and I believe by now, Flesh of My Flesh had come out. So we ready to rock. DMX is larger than life rapper we we ready to see him and we here we in here we made it so x comes out <clears throat> and then we both realize like dmx a lot shorter than we thought you know <laughs> anyway besides all that dmx rocked the show i loved it um great show one of the best concerts i've been to and uh r.i.p dmx i wish he was still here and I could see him rock again. But uh great show. I appreciate y'all listening to my little story and uh more stories to come. This is my ticket stub from that night, 1998, at South Carolina State University's Back to School Jam, featuring DMX, uh DJ J Nice, and uh Joe Claire rocking the party. I still got this. I still hold on to um, ticket stubs and stuff like that. I've got some more stories that I'm going to share with y'all in the future. Till then, peace.